One time for the Audrey Show. Two times for the Audrey Show. Three times for the Audrey Show. Go, Audrey. Go, Audrey. Go, 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 Audrey. Yeah, I feel like I'm always in my car. So, we're going to do like car rides, hot juice topics with Audrey in the car while I wait on the things that I'm waiting for. And in this topic, we're talking about the famous relationship, dating, courting. Will you be my lover? Will you be my friend? Will you be my woman? Can you be my man? I'll take you out. I'll buy you lunch. I'll buy you dinner. I'll buy you gifts. I'll rub your feet. I'll do whatever to make you bliss. Give me a kiss. Mwah. I don't know where that just came from, but yeah, dating and relationship. And the big question is if I'm in a relationship, am I currently seeing someone? Am I dating? And the answer to that question is yes, I'm in a relationship. I am dating right now. I am currently seeing someone. So that y'all can stop assuming. Yes, I am dating. I am happy. I feel joyful. I feel free. I feel amazing. I feel blissful. I feel grateful. I feel all the things above. I feel healthy because I've been working out. I feel like I'm glowing. I feel like I'm doing better. I'm living better. I'm looking better. I'm at peace. I feel good. Da na 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 na. I wish that you would. Da na 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 na. So good. Bow bow. Okay, cut it. Yes, I am in a relationship, and I feel good in this relationship. For. For me, it's not that I try to hide the fact that I'm in a relationship um, because I really don't care about how other people will feel about it. I just know that there's not a lot of people. I don't want to say there's not a lot of people, but there are people who will pray on your downfall and they will pray that your relationships don't work out. And then there are people who will be genuinely happy for you. And so I know there's some people out there who will be ecstatic that I'm in a relationship because now I'm one less problem that you have to worry about which I shouldn't be a problem in your life anyways your priorities are wrong love but that's neither here nor there I'm just the messenger um I just feel like certain stuff you should just keep to yourself until both of y'all are ready to allow other people inside of what y'all have going because that's when chaos start coming that's when crazy exes start popping up out of nowhere um dming people trying to start rumors starting to start mess tr just trying to just do the most you have people start creating fake pages trying to watch this person and watch that person and trying to just put pieces together and looking at people's comments trying to see which comments is, and likes is going which who's and trying to do just doing the absolute most people just be doing the absolute most worried about a relationship that has nothing absolutely nothing to do with them involving themselves in situations that have absolutely nothing to do with them and that cannot pay their bills when people be so invested and consume and trying to either destroy or investigate a situation that you lose focus of your own goals. You lose focus on your own relationship. So, it's not that I was trying to hide it. It's just people just be doing too much for me. People be doing too much and I'm not even a social media person like that anyway. So, certain stuff in my life I prefer to keep it on the down low down low y'all have to understand that everyone is not going to be rooting for you your whole everything that you do in life everyone don't need to know about some stuff you need to just keep on the sh until both of y'all feel comfortable and confident enough and we're in a place we've been together for roughly six going on seven months 
and we're in a place where we're not afraid to allow people to know that we're in a relationship will we post each other i don't know then y'all y'all be doing too much then i don't know i don't know about all that yet i don't know about all that yet we'll we'll just We'll just let everything flow. I think that would be the best thing to just allow everything to just flow naturally. But I don't want y'all to be out here assuming anything because I'm very blunt and I'm very real in everything that I do. So that's the only reason I'm telling y'all now. So now that y'all know your girl is in a relationship and I am happy and that's part of the reason why I am glowing so much why I keep my hair done now because... Baby gotta look good. Baby gotta look good for her man. Nah, y'all, I'm just kidding. Um, I am in a relationship. However, I'm not in a relationship with a man. Yeah, that's gonna stir. That's going to stir the pot a lot. And before y'all start assuming, I'm not in a relationship with a woman either. I'm in a relationship Yes, I am in a relationship with myself. I am practicing on self-love, self-fulfilling myself, taking myself on a date, making myself feel good about myself. So when the time comes and I do decide to get in a relationship, I'm already fully healed. I'm not bringing no baggage. I'm not emotionally unstable, emotionally unavailable, mentally unstable we don't want any of these problems like we want to be all put together and i know a lot of y'all men be thinking that i'm talking to someone because i don't give y'all the time of the day or i don't respond to y'all messages or y'all calls so y'all think that i'm out here talking to someone i must be sleeping next to someone else i'm sleeping next to my bible how about that i sleep next to a book I sleep next to my pillow. I sleep next to myself knowing that I don't have nothing else to worry about. I don't I don't feel the need for me to sit on the phone and talk to a man after dark when I know I have no intentions on being with you. I'm just being honest. Like a lot of people want people to just you want you claim that you want honesty, you want someone who's real, but then when they give you real, you don't want that. You want someone who's going to play with your feelings. I'm not here to play with no one's feelings because I don't want no one to play with my feelings. It don't feel good. Pain does not feel good. Sometimes pain is necessary, but it does not feel good. So I'm not here to try to play with anyone's feelings. Um, right now, I can't cook. So the fact that I can't cook, I can't be in a relationship. It sounds crazy, but like it's true. I'm a mom. And if I can't provide for my son the way that he needs to be provided for, if I can go out here and entertain a man and make him laugh and do all these crazy things to please him, that makes me an unfit, unstable mom who's really mentally, physically, and emotionally unstable. Because now I done gave my priorities, which should have been my child, to a man who may or may not be there. That's ridiculous. And it's not to condemn anyone because y'all going to do what y'all want to do. But me, I have to grow up. Like, it's a point in time where you have to grow up, where your child has to be your priority. If the relationship that you're in isn't growing, isn't fulfilling, then why are you there? Like, seriously, why are you there? We get into uh, a mindset that we want someone to text and we want someone to call, so we be settling for stuff that... In reality, we really don't need to be settling for. We be doing the absolute most behind people who wouldn't even do the absolute most behind us. And for what reason? Honestly, y'all, for what reason? No reason at all. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. So to scratch all that, I have to work on my cooking skills. Because when I do get in a relationship, that's going to be my husband. I'm not out here to try to date to see if you're the one. I'm going to know if you're the one for me beforehand before i even get into a relationship with you and if uh if you're not trying to marry me you don't need to try to talk to me to be honest like 
that's just the way that the cookies need to crumble. And so, since that is my mindset, I need to bring that man a premium package. Right now, I'm a gold star package. Your girl got a degree. Your girl's credit is getting worked on. It's way better than it was last year. I know how to save money. I have my head on swivel. I am mature. I can be a good nurturer, a good friend. I'm emotionally stable. I'm mentally stable. I'm physically stable. But your girl can't cook. So I can't be a premium package if I can't cook. I need to be able to provide my man with a premium package. He needs to know that he has the best package available. The best package on the market. And I need to be able to be the very best package. So when he brings me around his family, and he brings me around to meet his mom, his mom can't say nothing about me because, baby, I am the premium package. All he can say is, Mom, this girl is A1. She's very loving. She's very kind. She's pra She prays for me. She loves me. She's my friend. I can talk to her about anything and she don't get upset. She know how to step out of the relationship and be my friend when I need her to be my friend. She know how to be my lover when I need her to be my lover. She's very nurturing. I, um, She's a great listener. She's a great provider. I know that if I ever fell on my feet, that she knows how to pick up the weight and be everything that I need her to be. She know how to cook. She take care of her home. She don't need a man to help take care of her kids because she's going to make sure that she got it. But she's not so independent that she won't even accept my help that, that she don't know how to be submissive. Like she's everything mom. She's everything and she's pretty. She knows how to take care of her home. Her house is clean. She's smart. She has a degree. She's teaching me how to work on my credit. She, she pushes me to go after my goals. She makes me look at life totally different. Makes me look at life like I have more to offer than just to be living paycheck to paycheck, working for someone else. She actually pushes me to be a better man. Yes, when my man brings me to in front of his mom, his mom gonna be like, baby. You remind me of me when I was younger, ma'am. No disrespect, but no, I don't. No, I do not. I remind you of me. There's only one me. And I am the premium package. And that's what I'm trying to work on. A lot of people don't see that and won't understand that because y'all out here just trying to get emotionally fulfilled, but you're, you're emotionally unstable. You're mentally unstable. You're physically unstable. If you get in a relationship... And then you get out of this relationship and you can't take care of yourself, you're physically unstable. If you get out of a relationship and you're doing the most, you busting tires, you breaking windows, you fighting, you DMing people, you creating fake pages, you doing the absolute most causing chaos, you're emotionally and mentally unstable. You don't need to be in a relationship. You need to work on you, love. Like, it's not to bash anyone because i'm not here to bash anyone that's not my job the bible says do not judge anyone or you will be judged so i can't be judging no one but what i'm saying is before you get in a relationship make sure that you have something to offer make sure that you can actually be a help to someone you can be an asset and not a liability to someone if you're gonna get in a relationship and I'm not saying every relationship is going to be perfect. Like, y'all both ain't got to be on y'all ish. But if y'all going to be in a relationship and uh, y'all been together for some time and your partner is still in that same predicament that they was in when y'all first got together, that credit still below 500, below 600. They still don't know how to save money. They still don't have a job. They still don't have a home. They still don't have a car. They still have nothing to call their own. But y'all taking vacations? And y'all balling out of control, huh? And y'all so in love, huh? But what did your partner get up out of this? That's manipulation, baby. That is control and manipulation. If my partner can't leave me, because I'm not afraid of it, a noun person leaving me. And I'm gonna help I'm gonna help my man get up on his feet. And so I'm not afraid for my man to leave me once he's up, because baby, that's your blessing that you done walked out on. Is that a lot of females who's going to help you get up on your feet and make sure that you're straight so that you can be a better man? If your partner is not trying to make you a better woman, not trying to make you a better man, then why are you in that relationship? To cut your nut? Like, y'all got to get y'all priorities right. Like, seriously, y'all need to really look at y'all relationships, examine y'all relationships, and see are y'all growing in this relationship as both people, are both of y'all actually growing 
Because if we're not growing, then what are we doing? We're wasting time. No. Mm -mm. I just need to be a premium package. Like, when me and my husband get together, and it's time for us to buy a new car or a new house. I need for both of our credits to be right. If it's not right when we get there, when we first get together, well, I'm going to help you get it right. Yes. I know how to fix credit now, so we're going to get this right. Because you will not have the opportunity to say, we can't get this credit card, or we can't get this car, or we can't move into this place because my girl or my man's credit isn't right. No, we're not. No. 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 So, a man can't say that about me now, but he can't say that I can't cook. So therefore, I'm not a premium package. And that's why I'm not dating, y'all. So until I can become a premium package, I will not be dating. I am working on being a total Proverbs 31 woman. Because a Proverbs 31 woman is so beautiful. Like, her soul is so beautiful. Like, she's beautiful inside and out. Like, if you can be, you can be beautiful on the outside and on the inside of you just be ugly as heck. Yeah, that's not what I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be a pure Proverbs 31 woman. And for all y'all women out there who do not know what a Proverbs 31 woman is because you never picked up the Bible, that's okay, baby girl. That's okay, baby girl. This is got you. I'm going to show you what a Proverbs 31 woman is. Sorry, y'all. My camera cut off because it's running hot. So we're going to run through this really quick. Proverbs 31, and we're going to start with verse 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her man safely trusts in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and works willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ships. She brings her food from afar. She rides this also while it is yet night and gives meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considers a, a field and buys it. With the fruit of her hand, she plants a vineyard. She girds her loins with strength and strengthens her arm. She perceives that her merchandise is good. Her candle goes not out by night. She lays her hands to the spindle and her hands hold the distaff. Holds the distaff. She stretches out her hand to the poor. Yes, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She makes herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her man is known in the gates when he sits, um, when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes fine linen and sells it and delivers belts unto the merchant. Strength, strength and honor are her clothing and she shall rejoice in time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom. She opens her mouth with wisdom. And her tongue is the Torah of kindness. She speaks kind words to people. Kindness. We're gonna... She looks well to the ways of her household and eats not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her man also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but you excel them all. Favor is deceitful, and, be and beauty is vain. But a woman that fears Jehovah, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in her gates. Y'all, I'm not that good of a reader, so let me just break this down. She takes care of her home. A, a Proverbs 31 a Proverbs 31 woman, she takes care of her home. She do not gossip. She does not use her mouth to belittle people. She do not use her mouth to belittle her man. Like when her man comes and sit in front of other men, he is praised because he's not he's not looked down upon because her woman because his woman's out here reckless gossiping bashing him belittling him talking back to him just have a slick mouth she 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 don't she don't use her her mouth to harm people but she used her mouth for kindness she shows kindness she extends her home and her house to the needy like 
y'all she's a beautiful beautiful woman a beautiful beautiful woman the inside and the outside of her heart is beautiful she's a virtuous woman and anyone can see that she's a virtuous woman she take care of home when things fall off she's not worried she's not worried about disaster she's not worried about the storms to come she's not worried about a hurricane or a famine in the land because she, her house is taken care of she knows that her house is taken care of if her man falls off and we're in a pandemic and everyone lose their job she's not worried because she's going to go make that money she's going to hustle she's going to get that money she's going to grind to make sure that her household is good she's going to make sure that her kids and her household has clothing on they're not looking any kind of way that they're not talking any kind of way she walks with her head up she takes pride in how she looks but it's the way that she acts like she is about her business a woman who's about her business and there's a lot of women who's about their business but your mouth is ridiculous your mouth is ridiculous you can make so much money, but your heart, where is your heart posture? Your heart posture is not in the right place to receive a Boaz, a virtuous man. And I, that's what I need. I need me a virtuous man. I need me a man who's going to love me unconditionally. So I need to, I need to make sure that I'm this Proverbs 31 woman. I need to make sure that I can take care of my household. That when anything happens, when a famine comes, when a pandemic hits, we still going to be good. This household is still going to be taken care of. And people are going to look at you and be like, you have you a great woman. No one can say anything bad about your woman because you know and she knows and everyone around y'all know that this is a great woman. She's about her business. She's very modest. She's very humble. She's very loving. She shows love. She's not afraid of humility. She's not afraid to be submissive. She's not. She knows when to shut her mouth. That's what a lot of y'all problems are. Y'all don't know when to shut your mouth. You always want to be right. You always want to be in charge. You you like to boast about the stuff that you have. Okay, you make more money than your man. Sit down and humble yourself, love. No man wants that. No man wants someone to throw that in their face. Like, humble yourself. Be slow to speak. Like, show wisdom, girl. Walk with your head up. Like, you don't have to, you don't have to be angry all the time. Your feelings get hurt. It's okay. It's okay to cry a little. But you don't have to go putting your business out, out and trying to get everyone else's opinion about your relationship, about what you should do. Go to, the, go to the father about your relationship. We all operate out of emotions. So when we go to our friends for advice, they're speaking out of emotions also. You don't need that. You need a spiritual answer for whatever you're going through. That's why I need to be a Proverbs 31 woman. And until I'm a Proverbs 31 woman and I know that with everything that I go through, that I don't lean on my family for answers. I don't lean on my family for opinions about my relationship. I don't lean on my friends about opinions about my relationship. I don't like my whatever goes on in my household will stay in my household that I know that my household is going to be straight. Me and my partner are going to work together and we're going to make sure that everything is good. He don't ever have to worry about a lack. He don't ever have to worry about breaking heart, blood, and tears because I'm just sitting around being lazy. No, we're not going to have that. I need to be a Proverbs 31 woman. I need to make sure that I can cook breakfast in the morning for our kids and for him. I need to make sure that I can have lunch prepared. I can make sure that I have dinner prepared. We're both working hard. One day I go to the grocery store and one day you go to the grocery store. Or maybe I'll just take on that load because that's what I need to do. I need to take off the load because you as a man is already going through so much on your own. You're already battling through so much of your own trying to be strong, trying to hold your tears in. So let me be able to take the load off of you and a lot of females nowadays do not know how to take the load off of their man you just add more stress you want to you want to bitter you want to be bitter you want to bicker and whine and cry and nag and just do the absolute most and wonder why yo why your man have a female best friend oh no we're not gonna have that i'm gonna be my man's female best friend and i'm gonna be my man's my man's lover because I'm going to be a whole total package. A whole total package. So, y'all, that is why I am single. That is why I'm not talking to someone. That's why I'm not investing my time entertaining y'all men. Because y'all don't want anything from me anyways. Are y'all trying to be a boy ass? 
Because I need me a Boaz man. You better go read the book of Ruth to find out what a Boaz is. A Boaz is a man who's going to pick up the slack. It's not his responsibility, but he's going to provide. He's going to pick up that slack. He's going to be he's going to be confident about his woman. He's going to be boastful about his woman. He's not going to allow someone to talk down on his woman. He's not going to allow someone to belittle his woman. He's going to let he's going to be proud of his woman. Not ashamed of his woman. No, y'all be doing too much. Y'all be doing too much. Doing too much. Maybe doing too much nowadays. I don't have time for all that. I don't have time for the arguing. I'm not gonna argue with no one. I'm not gonna allow someone to come in and take my peace. I don't. Ha I don't have the energy for it, baby. To be honest, I don't have the energy for it. So I'm looking for me a Boaz man so I can be his Proverbs 31 woman and we can come together and do the Most High's purpose and be fruitful. Y'all, I don't even remember the last thing that I said. Uh, I can see now that my car rides will not be for a long period of time because the heat out here is ridiculous. So, I just wanted to just end this on that note, whatever note that I last left y'all on. And just tell y'all to have a very, how was my hair? A very blessed a very blessed day and um y'all really start evaluating y'all relationships i'm not telling y'all to go out here and be single but i'm telling you to heal there's a lot of brokenness a lot of brokenness in relationships and a lot of times we get in relationships trying to fix one another when in reality we should come inside of a relationship already heal already fix our inner childhood inner childhood wounds all of our emotional baggage, all of our exes, uh, our past traumas, everything that we have done with, dealt with in the past, it should already be filled and healed, fixed and healed before you get inside of a relationship with someone else. Don't get in a relationship adding more baggage. Don't get in a relationship thinking someone is supposed to fix you. You need to fix yourself. You need to fix yourself. Your relationship will never prosper because you have stuff that you need to heal with. You need to heal alone. You need to heal alone. So y'all, heal and be fruitful. Heal and be fruitful and grow in your relationship. Don't be afraid to help your partner grow. Don't be afraid that if your partner gets to where they need to be and finally up on their feet that they're going to leave you. If they leave you, you know, that's just... That's just their loss. At the end of the day, it's just their loss. And that's what you need to look at it as. It's their loss. And you did all that you can. Karma karma will always come back and get someone. You don't have to be no one's karma. You don't have to manipulate someone to love you. You don't have to manipulate someone to be with you. If you have to do all of that to get noticed by someone, that's not the person for you, love. That's not the person for you. And I'm letting y'all know right now that if we on a date and you're constantly telling me about telling me about your past, about the hurt that someone else has caused you, we're not gonna go on another date. You need to heal. You need to heal because if you're talking about your past, then what am I here for? What about now? Like why why are we why are we worried about the past? Why are we worrying about old traumas? You need to be healed because I'm already healed. I'm not bringing you baggage. The only baggage that I come with is a son. And he's not a baggage because I can take care of my son on my own. You will be an addition to our life. Y'all better... If you want me, you better come with the... You better come with your A1. Bring your premium package. Bring me a premium package or give me something that I can work with. If you're not all the way on your feet and you... Emot if you're not physically stable and you mentally and emotionally unstable i can't do nothing with you baby you need to spend some time with the most high and you need to heal like one of them unstable and uh, instabilities i can work with but all three now you're just pushing it now you're just looking for a fairy to godmother and i'm not it i'm not your fairy godmother i'm sorry baby that's not my role <laughs> but y'all have a great day let me know what y'all want to talk about next how are y'all in y'all relationships what do y'all think about relationships um what are y'all thoughts that's all for this 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 car ride series because i'm hot i'm very hot so y'all 
be blessed. Bye.